turn where we want. Point up here, y'all mark it. Somebody comment below, I promise you. Someone will catch a 20 pound bag on day one. They will ride that out for two 11 pound days and win the derby. 100 million percent back. So you're saying 42 is going to win? Add it up. 15, 15, 15, that's 45. I'm going to say 45 pounds, you're going to win, you're going to bring him a trophy. But you just said <laughs> 20, 11, 20, 11, 11, 11, that's 42. <laughs> All right, 42 pounds will win. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, three straight days of 12 I, I, pounds. I, 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 would, I would almost bet that somebody ain't going to drop 20 the first day. No. 18. 18. No, 20 is a lot. A lot. Listen, listen. Especially third place is 13 something. 12. A third place is 13. 12 times 3 is 36 pounds. Okay. 36 pounds. Okay. 13. Here's, here's the match. Okay. Wait till you see this match. <laughs> 13. It's 39. Right? 13 a day. Okay. This guy. It's hard to catch 13 consistently a oh, day on this we definitely know that. No, there's a very good chance 13 a day could win this turn. I know. 39. Could, could win. win. Could win. I'm going to say 42. <laughs> no. no, the second dude. I'd say right now, if you had 40 pounds, I'd almost guarantee your top three. A million percent. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are here, right here, is Lake Norman. This is Red Crest. So this is going to be the practice video. Red Crest, we're fishing for $300,000. There's only 40 guys, and the whole house is in this tournament. So like DC said last night, 10% of the field is consumed by the house so we're gonna get out there we're gonna get out of practice we have a day and a half to get ahead and figure it out the first time fun fact first time i've ever been to norman the only time i've ever been to norman was my first ever college fishing tournament it was back in 2009 and we didn't catch them <laughs> so hey we're gonna we're gonna get ahead and uh we're gonna try to get everything dialed in it's a lot of spotted bass, but these fish, I mean, you hear the birds are chirping, the, the pollen in the air. Um, so really not sure what to expect. We got some change in weather, of course, like normal. It's gonna be stable in practice, and all of a sudden come tournament time, it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be raining. Um, so that's the hard thing. But uh, you're gonna see how we break it down. Hopefully we can figure it out. Come follow along. I'm just burning the bank, man. I'm trying to trying to see what I can see. I rolled up in the first pocket that I rolled up to, and I seen three or four spawners. And uh, just from my experience over the years fishing, the fish stage under floating docks. So you see this right here? I got a floating dock. So fish will stage on that, like the bigger females. And sometimes, you know, if they're just getting ahead and they're trying to warm up the eggs, they get real high up on them black floats. But a lot of times they'll spawn on the pole docks. So this here you got actually a little bit of both. Uh, and what I'm realizing is the couple places that I pulled up to already, the back corners of these pole docks, that's where I seen them spawn at. So I'm just gonna get ahead, I'm gonna cover a lot of water, but you know, you get out here on Norman and I mean there's just a million docks out here. So 
they really got to narrow it down. So you got to pay attention to kind of what you're seeing. And so far, I haven't had any good bites under floaters, but I've seen some spawning around them poles. So I'm going to keep it honest though. I'm going to run two or three more pockets. I'm going to zip in and out of these and throw in a line through swim bait in the meantime. See if I can get one to rise on it. Caught a couple of them on a on a Demiki out deep, but they weren't any good. They're pound and a half. I lost one. I was like maybe two pounder. Keep covering water. Big lake. Oh, there's there's a bass right there. See him? See him right there. You see him in that camera? No. Not a, that's not a little one either. He's darted that way too, huh? Right there. Yeah. Okay, look, look, look. Okay, look at the size of this in the water. Okay, you see it? Yeah. Some of the other ones we've seen are a lot bigger than that one. Like that, that last one over there. I bet you this is probably like a one, one ten. Oh, dude, that's. You don't think that's like close to two? No, my guess is one ten. We're seeing a lot of, we're seeing a lot of two and a half pounders. One twelve. Whoa. My problem is, is that cold front for this tournament's gonna freaking suck. Yeah. So really, I mean, you might you might be able to catch them doing this in the first couple of days, but after that, this will be shot. Mouth we call it. Same under there. Not, not a big one. Little guy. Dude, what did you spit up? Oh, your other worm? Dude, my other worm. <laughs> Wait, whose worm was that? Dude, I think that's your other worm that you lost on it. No, I never lost this one. That must have been somebody else's worm. No, didn't you just break off over here? Huh? Didn't you just break off on the dock? Remember the little green one? Yeah, I think I had another worm for some reason. I forget why. Because you got stuck in there. You remember you whipped it out? It had nothing on it. Dude, you ate your other worm. Oh, no shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I remember that. Yeah, I got stuck, pulled it off. Just got my hook back. Well, guys, we got a big day today. First day of practice was just a grind. Couldn't really figure it out. A lot of small fish up shallow right now. And uh, yeah, we spent a lot of our time looking. And I think that's what we're gonna do again today. We're gonna spend a lot of our time looking, but in the meantime, I wanna idle these ditches to see if I can find any concentration of bait to be able to maybe catch them out of bait. We did catch some out of bait yesterday. And it's just always important if you're, if you're kinda watching, like I always have 2D up. So whenever I'm running in between spots, I always keep an eye on my 2D. I start running over some bait balls, ponds of bait, then I'll, you know, I'll shut off that and I'll pan around and I'll look at it. But it's Dude, 
bunch of them came up with it. Oh, it's probably close to two pounds. It's important guys, so we're weighing these things in practice because whenever you go to a body of water that it's separated by ounces, it's really important to know what size these are. Like especially northern fisheries too when you're catching them smallmouth, the difference of catching, you know, three and a half pounders versus three and three quarter pounders can be a really big deal. That fish right there was a two a one fifteen. So if you can catch five two pounders and go largemouth fishing, it's not actually that bad of a deal. I'm guessing probably close to two and a half. Yeah, he's just swimming with it. He's got it. Probably gonna end up catching it. Yeah. Big walker the dog on a leaf, man. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Gosh dang Guys, we have shook off some fish today. It's it's tough to tell because you know these spotted bass, a lot of them are you know 112s, 114s. Well, I set the hook on a couple of them and they were decent ones. And then ever since then, I'll show you right now exactly what I've been doing. Is I just have a, a four inch wacky worm. I actually have my fluorocarbon line tied to, tied to my O-ring. I got a little nail in it. And whenever I'm practicing, that's kind of what I'll do. Uh, Cause the thing is, is these fish are spawning. A lot of times, you know, they might be on a corner post, they might be on a back post, uh, but you really just got to skip this thing around and it, and it does two things. One, it allows you to be more efficient in practice. Uh, but then also the other thing is, of course, you're not hooking them. So um, it's tough to tell, you know, we had 15, 20 bites today and a couple of them felt good. Mark three or four really good ones on bed. Um, overall, not a great practice, uh, but we definitely had quite a few bites and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. But that's the practice video. We're gonna get ahead, we're gonna put this thing on a trailer. That's a wrap. <laughs> Document it for everybody back at home. Back at home. <laughs> I had BJ cooking the first night here. My man was painting jig heads. And we caught us one on it. Gosh dang, but it was a dick beater. <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere. Just a five inch general and a shaky head. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a deal. Spotted bass really like chartreuse. But I think the big issue is uh, this water clarity is just so freaking clear. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It looks good though. He did a good job. 